starting with the crayfish. The crayfish has apparent cephalization. It'll have a cephalothorax as well as an abdomen. It'll have jointed appendages, which is apparent with their arms and their claws, which will help catch prey and bring it to their mouth. It'll also have a hard exoskeleton in comparison to tissue on, let's say, a mammal. The crayfish will have a complete digestive system. It'll have the food caught within its appended jaws. It'll enter the mouth. From the mouth, it'll enter the um, cardiac stomach, which will begin with di- it'll go from the mouth to the esophagus to the cardiac stomach, which will begin break down with enzymes. It'll then enter the gastric mill, which will have teeth for mechanical breakdown, and then into the pyloric stomach. And from the pyloric stomach, it'll be mostly a liquid to then travel through the intestine and out through the anus. The crayfish has an open circulatory system and no veins attaching to individual organs. It'll have gills with a high surface area to help absorb the oxygen. The crayfish male will have a sperm duct and testes, and it'll use them to release sperm in which the female will catch and take into the seminal receptacle. The females will then lay eggs and hold them within their swimmerettes until the larvae are hatched and mature enough to be on their own. A squid will have a uh, mantle, it'll have visceral mass, it'll have a head and a muscular foot as it is part of the mollusca family. A squid and crayfish will both be protosomes, they're both coelomates, and they both show bilateral symmetry. The squid will use its tentacles to bring food into its beak. The beak will excrete a venom as well as saliva to begin digestive enzymes for mechanical breakdown, for chemical breakdown. The radula inside of the beak will help tear the food into smaller pieces, which is part of its mechanical, break mechanical breakdown of food. From there, it'll enter the stomach and the cecum, which much, where majority of digestion will take place, and then it'll be excreted from the rectum to the anus. The squid has a closed circulatory system. It'll have two branchial hearts and a systematic heart, as well as veins connecting to individual organs. The branchial hearts will help ventilate the gills located on the side of those branchial hearts. And it'll, the branchial hearts will also help increase blood pressure for the gill capillaries. The male squid will transfer spermophores as a sac or capsule to a female's sperm receptacle. What is interesting about a squid is that the female will have internal fertilization and then those eggs will be released free-flowing into the water in comparison to the crayfish which will hold those eggs within its clutch.